What's up guys, BTM boy back at you with another video and I've been missing for a few days guys, you get me? I've basically been sulking because my last video did whack and no one liked it. So I basically took a few days to reflect, but it's not a bad thing guys because it basically pushed me to do something drastic. Well, go on, fam. Uh, I just want to talk to you, fam. Ah, oh, let me in, bro. Let me in. Okay, let's go. The gun trap, gun trap. Gun trap. Careful. Where? And that's just one of the savage experiences I've had since downloading Shadow, which brings me to today's video. And it started like this. I woke up on fertile ground, tree and wildlife abundant. I had no time to waste, so I legit got straight to work. Collecting and harvesting as much basic materials as possible. When I come across a couple purple haze auto flowers, so I snatch that and found a corner, laid my sleeping bag down, and spent the evening high as a motherfucker. Damn. After recovering from the cerebral palsy stage, I continued collecting materials to set up a nearby homestead. After I gathered enough stuff, I began building for my life, hoping that no one would attack a naked building his first home. Once I had doors and a somewhat secure outer shell. Shit. I ran back to my secret stash to gather more materials. <laughs> you crazy. It was getting dark when I finally had a secure ish base with wooden doors and the odd wooden wall. So I waited for morning before heading out to get some more goods. When I found a stash of barrels, which was full of goodies. After continuing north, I found something which resembled a half-built helicopter. However, it was empty and needed fuel. So I chopped a little piece of wood before heading back. And when I got back to the piece of helicopter, a naked Caucasian, which I didn't see at the time, violated me mid-sprint. So I spawned back at the emergency base and began running materials. when I came across some booky looking tree, like something out of Sleepy Hollow. And after axe murdering a wild hog, and some more improvements to the trap house. It was time to build a furnace. However, I needed more fuel. Once I had the right stuff, I placed my furnace at the top of my stairs and continued the process unsuccessfully the first time. But once I finally got back with a few resources, I began building metal doors when I heard footsteps.
And then my door was on fire. So I dipped up the stairs, emptied my furnace and locked myself in upstairs. Where I waited and listened. And not before long, the intruder began burning my last barrier of protection between me and them. So I fortified my last door and sat out there on the balcony. Besides, there weren't shit in there for him to steal. Anyway, I just emptied out my last little piece of whatever I had, you get me? After sitting there for a little while, I decided to just cut loose, jumped over the edge and snapped my shit. However, the intruder was still in my empty ass base looking for loot. And for some reason, my geezer come back alive. Making a run for a nearby perch, I watched from a distance when the guy came out and he must have caught my scent or something in the wind, you know, because he started running my way. I see you. So I hid in a nearby bush. When I heard your man's footsteps, and I thought, if I just be still, he won't see me in this bush. But he did. So I spawned back at the trap house, with the feeling he or they might come back on the mad thing. When I heard footsteps again. And after trying to negotiate. Yo, what do you want? You've took everything. I've got nothing. You've took everything. I realized they'd installed their own door. And not only did they installed their own door, they installed a fucking Care Bear door, ruining the whole aesthetics of my base. So I went on a mad overnight hustle to fix the damage. In a way, them fucking my base with that Care Bear door made my base a little bit better because now I got two towers with like a balcony in the middle and cover from both sides. Just after I'd finished construction, India police came to check up and make sure I'd followed local building regulations. You think you're coming out, bro? If I come out, I'm shooting you now. I don't have a window. Huh? What do you want? Why would I come out? Yeah, go out to the side of the base, to the side. What do you want? Pick with me, eh? You see, I work for India, police, and hold on, hold on, I'll I let you in. I got a lot of calls. I'll, I'll, okay. I'll let you in. How? How are you? This one, this that one. Yeah, yeah. Go back, go back like ten meters. I think I'm next to. Go back like ten meters. Yeah, back ten meters. Even more. Okay, so I go back ten meters. Woman, oh, I got shoot. Oh my god, man, what the fuck, what the fuck, man, that is India police, what the fuck, man, you're someone police, get, man. someone get in there. Hi, bro, what are you doing? Sorry, fam, I can't let you in with people out there. I thought that was India police talking to me still, but it weren't, it was his killer. I saw him running away in the distance, but I swear I could still hear footsteps. Someone was creeping blood.
Fuck it. I finished my repairs. Headed out to harvest my man's body. Check my base. And go for more loot. After making it back unscathed, if that's the right word or even how you say that word. I did my final repairs to the base. When I saw a strange thing in the field, like a hot air balloon or something like that. And before I had a chance to check it, my man was back asking for breadcrumbs again. So I let him in. Yes, man. I, I ran a long way. Yeah. What do you want? Do you want to live here or something? Uh, yes, yes. Give me a room. I give you presents. Right, go back from the door. So I let him into my airlock. You in? Yes. Can I had to go for a shit? Alright, stay there. So I left him in there for like 20 minutes. And when I come back, your man's still there waiting. Yeah, go back now. Go back outside. Sorry, I'm coming. Yeah. Alright, come in. Yeah. Right. What do you want? Good man. I give you steak here. I'm just a poor man. I'm, I don't have food. So how did you find your way back here? Um, how did you find a, your way back here? I have a sleeping bag in F19. I'll so drop everything you've got then. Okay. Let's wait here. Yeah. Face the wall. Still face the wall? Yeah, stay facing the wall. Do you know that the server is wiping? <laughs> Your man started talking about server okay. resetting and all that. When? I think it's in but, I, but I dismissed what he was saying because I don't yeah. take advice from peasant beggars. It's like 20 minutes or uh, one hour. It's almost there. Then the whole server. Why are you on the floor? I was out on the balcony chilling, enjoying some of that purple haze. <laughs> oh, shit. When my man come back again, Hello? again, who is it? He's like, are you mad, bro? How many times should I come back to the base, man? Yeah, uh, I, I crashed. Yeah, go on. So I let him in the empty tower. The other side of the building's off limits, but... Shit. And then I locked him in for a hot sec, while I went to get him some basic supplies from the tower with the looting. I'm just getting you a sleeping bag. Yo, and this is where things get crazy, guys. Have you got a sleeping bag? No, you just come. Fast, come. A rocket in my base, fam. Come fast, I need to come to me now. I need to come to me now. Come to me now. Come to me now. Come to me now. Shit. Come to me now. Bro, we're under attack. What the fuck? So I let the prisoner out with intentions of using him as bait for the raiders. Then your man come out in full on anti raid gear. I repossessed his belongings in hopes of starting a resistance.
But all these rockets hitting my base was causing my game to crash. And then the server reset. The server reset. The server. Oh my god. All that hard work and the server reset. The peasant beggar was. He was trying to tell. I knew it. I should have listened to him. I should have listened to him. And I guess the moral of this story, guys, is listen to the peasant beggars that come around asking for breadcrumbs. You get me? Talking about end of the world, them ting them. You get me? Listen to the peasant beggars. <laughs> no, I, I, uh, in this case, I guess the peasant beggar was right, and I wasn't listening to him. Apparently, server resets is a regular thing on this game. Someone could told me at the time. You get me? Pretty much, that's it for today's video. I literally. This is one of many um, games of Rust I've had over like this week. I know I haven't posted like all week, guys, but like I said, I was I was soaking about that that video. I wasn't soaking, but it just it disappointed me that like just burn that video off. Basically, new direction, better videos, better BTM. If you guys enjoyed this video in any way, shape, or form, I would appreciate like a super duper blood clot German whip smash that like i don't that don't make any sense what's just just subscribe and like to the channel you get me and most importantly guys go and check out the GoFundMe for my mom in the description you know what i mean but other than that guys I, i'm like overly grateful for all the new people who have subscribed to the channel i, sh I shit you not i'm like three subscribers away from hitting 200 like posting this video will probably tip me over the edge but and i haven't done a 200 subscriber special yet so i'm gonna i'm gonna have to do something I have to do something quick. I'll pull something out of my arse you get me. But other than that, guys, if you enjoyed this video, smash the subscribe button, like what he said. Other than that, you get me? Other than that, other than that, I'll see y'all in the next video. And we out.